At some point in your life, you will fail. You will lose, you will look bad, you will be bad at something. There is no question in my mind. Hey, I'm advising you to accept it because it will happen. Their destination depends on their direction. The final destination is not determined by wish or by hope. Direction determines destination. Every time you fail at something, you get one step closer to succeeding the following time, you know? People who quit up are what separate successful people from unsuccessful people. People get out of bed every morning. They probably don't fear losing in a Ferrari race or any other losing race. Then they simply give up. Losing is the hardest lesson in life to learn. When you're happy, people high-five you, and your buddies are also happy. It's your capacity to accept defeat, get back up the following day, pick yourself up, and carry on. I have lost everything you can imagine seriously, we have I have been beat up and put down and everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for me, but I just kept going. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't regress. If you are confronting a struggle, I advise you to keep going. Be active. Execute your plan. Keep doing the things you already know to be effective for you. Once you've assessed how you fit into the circumstance, keep going and busy yourself to the hilt. I pray. I keep on praying. But I keep failing, failing, and failing. But it made no difference. According to an old proverb, if you spend enough time in the barbershop, you'll eventually receive a haircut. Consequently, you will benefit. And I did get lucky. If you consistently remind yourself, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back, it will help you get back up after every failure, every setback, and every time you are knocked down. Since you can stand up if you can glance up. Many people have given up on believing in themselves as a result of failure, so let me tell you something, you will fail your way to success. Yes, you will fail your way to success since millions have gone bankrupt because of your mindset. No matter how many times you try and fail, no matter how many times you hear from others that you can't succeed, it doesn't matter. If you don't have any money saved up, you'll have to learn through failure. You cannot overnight alter your location. Therefore, you cannot travel to a location five years from now tomorrow. However, this is what you can alter right now. You can alter your course overnight. Everyone wants to live in a better quality of life, which is one of the main obstacles for individuals. Everyone desires a better quality of life. But occasionally, practically every one of us gets stuck. When something keeps us from doing something that we are actually capable of accomplishing, it is stopping us. Whether it be changing our bodies, a relationship, our finances, or even just being happier and more fulfilled on a different level. We become trapped in the idea that we are incapable of doing things and that we are not supposed to be who or what we are. Or maybe we fall into a pattern of emotion where all we feel is anger, frustration, worry, sadness, or overwhelm. Sometimes we become stuck in specific behaviors rather than something more fundamental, you know. A breakthrough is just the opening that occurs at a particular point in time. Additionally, the opening may result through a conversation or from meeting a person who inspires you. It might result from an insight. It can come from watching a movie and being moved emotionally at just that right moment. It usually comes because something kind of clicked inside of us, something snapped us and made us look at life through a different filter in a different way. And you know, it's a real breakthrough. Because you take that little insight, that little distinction, that little moment, or maybe that little or big emotion inside of you that says no more. I'm going to change this. And suddenly you do something to make your life better, you break out of the impossibility of life has to be this way, or life is controlling me. And you start to take back control of your life. You start to make the shift that creates the quality of life that you really deserve. Everybody experiences extreme stress at some point in their life. I don't care who we are. Something happens outside our control, and it hits our life and it knocks us on our tail. It might be a health stress. It could be something with your family. It could be economic career. 
It could be something emotional that happens biochemical. There's so many things it could be an environmental situation that have nothing to do with you. Every one of us in our lifetime are experiencing extreme stress in these days because of the economy and the way we respond to it. The majority of people are experiencing some form of extreme stress, or at least according to polls, stress doesn't come from the facts. Stress comes from the meaning that we give the facts. Yes, those things have happened. But the real question is, if we fight, what's happened, we've got to probably get aside. What are we going to do with what's happened in our life? How are we going to take this? How are we going to mold this? How we're going to turn our life around? Because when you come up with a new meaning, get a new life? So what are we going to do in this session? Well, in this session, we're going to take a look at something from a different perspective. We're going to ask you this question. What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our Creator has given us? Or the universe, whatever you believe. What is it? What is the one power that you have right now in this moment? That can change everything. You haven't? I haven't. We all have this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life. Regardless of what's happened to us. And I know, you know the answer, the answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events. But, we can choose what to focus on. We can choose what things mean. We can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions, really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny, as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second, think about something, think about your life. And just think about, are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you to decisions you've made your life, you know that if you would have made a different decision, you would add a totally different life. But you won't be able to do it. When you're telling yourself, the sky is falling and it's over. When you see it worse than it is. You'll just give up. You won't do it. If you don't tell yourself the truth is, you know what, the system isn't working. I got to do some, I got to change my finances, I go to do change my job, I go to do read, if you don't tell yourself the truth, and deal with the truth, the real truth. Nothing's gonna happen. If you have five children, and decide that you should be a singer, rather than a mother, you will probably also decide that the economy should be different. Since you will be under stress. Deal with, what is without exaggerating, with complete honesty, dealing with the cards, developing a vision, finding. A role model who exemplifies your strategy, working your tail off, giving unceasingly, and continuously altering your strategy will get you where you want to go. Fair enough. Whatever you have produced a claim out of you, as a result of the kind of person that you would become, as a result of your choices, as a result of your consciousness. Now, you have to ask yourself, are you satisfied with what you have produced? Is this what you want? Would you like the things to be better than this? Do you believe that you deserve better than this? Are you content this is that you don't have to do anything else that you already resign yourself in? Like, this is what I'm happy? I'm not starving, like the people in Calcutta? Are you allowing yourself to get off the hook like that? Or do you believe somewhere in the back of your mind, or in your heart? that there is some other great work for you to do this something else that light has for you? And that's why you're here? How do we handle this fear factor? How do we increase our self-esteem? You have to begin to fortify yourself. How do we do that? I believe that, you have to begin to consciously monitor your inner conversation and start talking to yourself. Start building yourself up. Sometimes, the only good things you will hear about you are the things that you say to you. So I'm saying learn to be your own booster. Stop building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying I can do this. I can make this happen. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we have born negative I think, in a negative consciousness. Because we live in a negative world. 
So I'm saying that we have to work through the challenges of life, and learning how to begin to work to fortify ourselves. Begin to guard your mind against negative programming, like turn off the television. So you've got to guard the kinds of things that you put in your mind. See, if you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed, because human beings are goal-oriented. That's why we die of broken hearts early. That's why we're running through life too early grave. Most of us go through life running scared. So we created this in our minds, false evidence appearing real. We made it real in our minds. There's nothing to fear, but fear itself. That's the destructive monster. So turn off things that can contribute to your fear. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself, and a new life for yourself. What idea are you sitting on? Write your ideas go. And then once you get that idea, take the lead. Say a lot of people get the ideas, and just walk around with them. Take the lead says out in the universe. If you don't take the plunge, I guarantee you, somebody else will take the plunge, go into action. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be surprised how things will come together. You'll be surprised, now you're going to have some difficult challenges. I can now let you know that, be mindful, that while things won't always go as planned, they occasionally will. At that point, life is simply a game you are playing with it. But ladies and gentlemen, put your dream into action. Do not avoid the areas where fighting occur. Get in the midst of the fight, and get some hickeys on your head. Get knocked down to practice fighting. So you can maintain your position. You see, most people avoid the life's arena, because they don't want to engage in combat. Most individuals are afraid of being knocked down, therefore, they don't step outside. They object to being brought to their knees. But as you can see, you will be fired. You will get dropped, whether you are playing on the pitch or just watching from the sidelines. Get dropped for something, please. Don't fall over while you are sitting. The majority of individuals only observe life. You do not want to observe. Where the action is on the field is, where you want to be. You will be astounded. There will be a calm moment following the battle. And then things will start to make sense for you. Bring your best game to this area. You are short on funds. Don't stress over it. Your desire came true. You got the point. You lack sufficient resources. Don't stress over it. You require assistance. Don't stress over it. You enter the arena here. Someone will see you and be moved, asking, Hey, can I assist you? However, if you sit high up in the bleachers, no one will ask you.